Hello everyone, welcome to Reformers Bookshop. My name's Sarah, I work here and yeah, we're going to be doing story time with Sarah today. Uh, every week we're going to be looking at a different kids book and today we're kicking off with Jesus and the Very Big Surprise. It's a very exciting new book uh, from the Good Book Company. It's written by Randall Goodgame with beautiful pictures by Catalina Echeverry. And this is an exciting book. It's a true story about Jesus, his return, and how to be prepared. And I want to see if you can count with me the number of candles there are throughout the story. Are you ready? Okay. Jesus always surprises everyone. Even though he's the maker of all the planets and galaxies in the universe, surprise! He came to earth as a little baby. There you can see him. And even though he's the king of kings, he wasn't born in a big, beautiful palace. Instead, surprise! He was born in a little stable where the smelly animals lived. When Jesus grew up, that's him there, and started preaching and teaching, he surprised people all the time. One of his very favourite ways to surprise people was by telling stories about what God is really like. Some people thought God was always angry. Some people thought God was a trickster who liked to make bad things happen. And some people thought God didn't care about them at all. Of course, Jesus knew exactly what God was like. So he told a story about God's love in a way that would surprise everybody, even you. This is the story we're going to hear. It's called The Servants Who Waited by Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus told a story about servants waiting for their big fancy master to come home from a great big wedding. There he is about to leave, servants handing him his hat. It was the servant's job to watch and wait. With candles burning bright, the servants had to be ready for the moment the master would return. But that isn't easy. When the master is away, the servants kept very busy. There were dishes to wash, and animals to feed, and clothes to clean, and pipe organs to polish. And when all that work is done, the servants still need to be ready. When the master comes home, they will serve him a midnight snack, fluff his pillows, bring him his best robe, and read him a bedtime story. What nice servants. But until then, they wait and wait and wait. They're getting very tired. Until, finally, the master's here. The master returns. Look at all the servants lined up. She's got a big cake for him. He's holding his best robe, maybe a, uh, his pyjamas, I don't know. But the servants are in for a big surprise. What? Look how confused they are. Look at the master. Come and rest, says the master. You must be tired from waiting up for me. He says to the servants, come and sit down at my table and I will serve you. I know just what you need. The end. We can see the master helping his servants here. He's lighting a candle. He's pouring this guy some water maybe, cleaning the plates, washing the dishes. See, in Jesus' story, the master loves his servants so much that he puts on the servants' clothes and he serves them instead. What kind of master would love like that? What kind of God would choose to be a servant? Surprise! Jesus would. Jesus is the great master who serves. Like the master in the story, Jesus surprised everyone by using his power to serve. 
He suffered. He even died on the cross so that we could live with him forever. What a great service. But Jesus still had one more very big surprise. He came alive again. And then he went back to his Father in heaven and sent his Holy Spirit to stay with us till he returns. Look, there's all his followers. They've got flames of fire on his head, which is the sign that Jesus gave when he gave the Holy Spirit. No one knows the day or the hour when Jesus will return. It could be any minute. And just like the servants in the story, we have plenty to do while we wait. There are hungry people to serve. There are lonely people to care for, friends to share with. There are enemies we need to forgive. And it all begins with loving Jesus, the great master who serves. He knows what we need because he is what we need. So get ready. The master is coming. What a great story. If you want to read a little bit more about that, you can find the story in the Bible, in Luke chapter 12, starting at verse 35. It's a great one to read with your family or just by yourself. Um, How did you go counting candles? I think I found 15, but if there's any that I didn't find, you should let me know in the comments. Uh, Yeah, that's all for this week, but tune in next week and we'll pick up another book for Storytime with Sarah.